Cricket's been my passion all my life. I started when I was, I was very little. Uh, you wouldn't believe it looking at me, but I was, I was born and brought up in Kenya. Um, so access to cricket there was, was uh, sort of minimal. Um, but then when I moved over here age, age six, um, I really got into it. And it was then, it was aged about 15, that uh, I got picked up by North Hans Academy. I signed my first um, full-time contract um, at age 18, and that, that was a really proud moment. But I realized pretty quickly that you had to make some pretty big sacrifices and also how tough it was to, to really get to the, the top things didn't materialize with with North Ants um, and and I was eventually released uh, which which at the time was a, a tough pill to swallow uh, my mates peers were going into into London um, and had jobs working in finance um, in the city so I, I decided that that's what I was going to well, at least have a go at I spent 18 months in the city working in insurance um, I certainly had a good time but uh, it wasn't for me work-wise. I had access to a lot more money. Um, a hobby I had at university for a long time was gambling. I began gambling very heavily whilst, whilst I was in the city and things just very quickly spiralled out of control. In the back of my mind the whole time my family were all in teaching and, and so I then turned my attention uh, to that. Part of my motivation for moving into teaching was um, in my heart of hearts I thought that that might put a stop to it but actually it, it made things worse and with the rest of my family um, being involved I knew I was what I was getting myself in for um, I was lucky enough to get a job at a great school and I think in some respects things things just came a little bit too easy I started to build up debts not just through my gambling but also through lifestyle and I had to turn to individuals um, and at first it was sort of small favours and, and again that quickly sort of built up into very very significant uh, sums of money and loans and my life became monopolised by gambling it was all I did it was all I wanted to do I became sort of powerless and it was it was out of my control I've sort of learned that that is what addiction does to you I had to hit rock bottom to to realise how badly I needed help I knew all along that I needed help but I in my heart of hearts didn't didn't necessarily want it or I was I was so scared uh, f fearful um, ashamed I'd had suicidal thoughts for sort of some time it was a sort of like being on an emotional roller coaster and there was no way out there was no getting out of it this time um, was the point that I started to really think about it uh, seriously I, I did sort of research as to, to how to do it and then it came a point where I was sort of collecting pills in my in my house getting them together ready to to overdose uh, and then I thought about sort of driving my car off the road it led to me standing on the edge of a, edge of a train platform and uh, I mean 10 minutes later you just don't know at that point I, I had to come clean um, and you're thinking I, I desperately need help but who am I going to turn to what am, what am I going to do and I actually turned to my brother <clears throat> Um, I sent him a message and I just told him exactly what the situation is and I said look I really really need help but was very quick to then say but please don't tell anybody. I actually caught up with a, a close friend who's a, an ex-pro and, and he, he'd spoken to somebody else and somebody said look has, uh, has Patrick contacted the PCA, the trust and, and I thought well look I'll give it a go but what, what are they going to be able to do as far as I'm concerned, I'm a sort of nobody when it comes to to cricket. And the professional cricketers' trust were were incredible in in not just their emotional support, but also actually with the sort of financial side of things and and advice. The trust became my kind of um, support network away from my my family, and I mean I'm indebted to them enormously. And the trust, along with with the treatment centre that I went through have, have, have saved my life. One of the things that I'm trying to do now by speaking out about it is, is, by, um, help, is to help other people perhaps come out and, and get the help that they need. Part of my recovery and, and part of what I want to do now is, is, is to help the trust with, with going into uh, counties, particularly county academies with the, the accessibility, the exposure to, to gambling. 
it, it had a huge impact on, on me financially and, and I'll be battling that for, for as long as I'm alive and if I can make a difference to one person then, then it'll all be worthwhile. It's a small way of sort of giving back and saying thank you.